Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the very first episode, the very first of What Do You Do? This is a new City of Davis YouTube series that gives you a glimpse into the day-to-day -day work here at the City of Davis. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes. I'll be your host on this journey. My name is Jenny Tan, and I'm the Director of Community Engagement. I'll interview staff across the departments, from engineers to front office staff, and from firefighters to outreach specialists, and everyone in between. In each short episode, I'll ask each person similar questions like, what do you do? What does a typical day look like? Or why do you work for the city? It'll help to give a human face to government work. I'm so excited to have you join me today where I'll be interviewing, drum roll please, Mike Webb, the city manager for the city of Davis. The city manager is generally appointed by the city council to manage the city's administrative responsibilities and day-to-day -day operations. Mike has been the city manager for Davis since 2018, and before that, he worked as a director of community development for four years, as well as being the assistant city manager. In total, Mike has served the Davis community for more than 25 years, 25. That's an amazing amount of time, knowledge, and care that Mike has invested into our Davis community. Mike works here at City Hall, so let's go inside. Hey everyone, so I'm here with Mike Webb, our city manager, and we are outside beautiful City Hall. So my first question to you, Mike, is what does a typical day look like for a city manager? Yeah, great question, Jenny. Um, a typical day for me is very steeped in coordination. Uh, the city council sets the policy goals and priorities for the city of Davis, and my job as city manager is to coordinate our team throughout our myriad city departments and functional areas and responsibilities to make sure that uh, we are working together as a team to help achieve those council goals and, and policy priorities uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, Do you also work with like other organizations in the city? Absolutely, a lot of coordination. A lot of a lot of uh, part of my job is to help coordinate amongst other fellow agencies, uh, including UC Davis right across the street. We do a lot of work in partnership with them. Uh, as exampled by Healthy Davis Together, for example, um, and uh, other the other cities in the region, Yellow County, uh, and special districts. There's a lot of work that goes on to make sure that we're all, uh, again, coordinated and working together uh, and rowing in that same direction. So sometimes there isn't a typical day because you're working on just so many different things. Yeah, a typical day is uh, is atypical. I'll say, uh, every day is different, and every day can can uh, fluctuate uh, from day to day, even from hour to hour, in terms of what is uh, needs attention front and center. Uh, and so it's uh, it's always uh, I always have a saying, which is there is never a dull moment in being the city manager. That's a that's a great quote to have for the day to day life. Hey everyone, so we're now at Central Park. We jump locations. Uh, Mike, my next question for you is, what are some projects that are on the docket for 2024? Well, Jenny, we have a lot in store for 2024, a lot of very positive projects that are that are going to be happening. One of them is right here in Central Park, and that's Natalie's Corner. Natalie's Corner is a splash pad, uh, a pollinator garden uh, project with uh, benches, and it'll be a, a fantastic community gathering space for all ages to have a great time here in Central Park. And it's in being built and designed in, in honor of Officer Natalie Corona, who was sadly killed in the line of duty five years ago. Uh, but it's a very positive uh, project that the community is really coming together to support. Uh, we also have a number of projects that we're gonna be implementing as a result of city council policy direction. Uh, last year, the city council adopted the downtown plan uh, again, speaking of Central Park in the Yay! downtown and investment here. So in the downtown plan, uh, the, the city council set forward a very uh, uh, strategic vision uh, for redevelopment, uh, for residential units, 
commercial uh, investment, uh, in our business space, and in our infrastructure. And already in uh, just the last six months, we've seen private property owners uh, submit to the city more than 500 dwelling units worth of redevelopment proposals. So our team is going to be hard at work in 2024 implementing those project proposals that are consistent with that downtown plan. Uh, also, another big plan that the City Council adopted in 23 that we are now working on implementation of in 2024 is our Climate Action and Adaptation Plan. A big ambitious effort to reduce our carbon footprint, our GHG emissions as a community and as a city operation. Uh, and so that's, that's a big undertaking for 24. That's amazing. I mean, so many things happening behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, right? Things related to our climate, climate change, our footprint, our de the development of our downtown and so many other things, our community. So really exciting things for 2024. Indeed. All right, everyone, we are at our last location, I promise. We are on 3rd Street. We have the bike meter behind us. We also have the, the obelisk and the art piece right there. So, Mike, uh, second to last question for you. Yeah. I mentioned earlier that you have worked for the city for a very long time. So why do you work for the city of Davis? Uh, well, I, I work for the city of Davis because I get tremendous amount of uh, satisfaction, both personally and professionally with working on issues that are of direct uh, connection here to our community. And uh, you know, Davis is about 12 square miles and it's a 12 square mile area that is uh, just full of fantastic things happening every day in our parks and our green belts and our schools and on campus at UC Davis next door, uh, the research that's happening there uh, the community members who are who make Davis what it is are so engaged, and honestly, there's just this element of of Davis that is very special, um, and it's always been that way. It always will be that way, and uh, I get the opportunity to work in a way that I can have a helpful and direct influence on the services that we provide this community. Um, and I'm in a, a unique position to do that. And uh, what I also take great pleasure in is putting together uh, and leading our team uh, and the right team members and the right roles, uh, like Jenny here in communications, uh, for example, uh, to really help us achieve that. Uh, we can only do it as a team. Uh, I, I, I don't, I honestly, I do not take credit for uh, the good things that the city has done over the years uh, and will continue to do. It's our team in our council and the community as a whole that make these things happen. And so, but, but seeing all that come to fruition, oftentimes in a direct uh, physical way, you see a project being developed or built that you worked hard on uh, to make happen, or you see a, a program uh, unfolding in our parks that is engaging with our youth. And those are the things that give me the greatest satisfaction mm -hmm. is seeing those manifest in our community and being able to experience them uh, real time. Do you think there's a secret sauce to working so long at a place? Uh, dedication is certainly part of that sauce, um, <laughs> you know, and uh, uh, resilience and perseverance uh, definitely are part of that sauce. But just having that passion and that uh, connectivity to to our organization and our community over the years, over the decades, um, are, are really is really what keeps me going every day and and uh, over. 25 plus years. So it's been a great ride. I really like that answer. And not just because you mentioned my name in it. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, so last question, is there anything else that you'd like to mention that you haven't really been able to share? I uh, just want to give a huge shout out to our city team, really. I mean, I mentioned, I mentioned Jenny, I mentioned <laughs> others on our, on our leadership team, our department heads uh, and so forth. Uh, they help lead uh, our, our departments, of course. But our team as a whole is just is so phenomenal in what they do every day, day in and day out. Every day. Um, and sometimes the, the tasks and jobs that they have are can be somewhat thankless, right? Um, it's, it's things that need to be done. Um, but oftentimes, you know, our community members are really good about recognizing the positive work and contributions of our staff team. And, you know, I, for one, uh, just am, am, could not be more appreciative of the efforts that our staff team makes uh, every single day, uh, 24-7, uh, to, to keep this community running smoothly and, and to being safe. So uh, 
thank you Aww. to our staff team uh, for all of your efforts every day. And I will say you've been an amazing city manager. And thank you so much for all the time and the energy and the work and the late hours and early mornings sometimes that, that you put in. So thank you so much, Mike. Thank you, Jenny. It's very kind of you. All right. Well, that's it, guys. That's it for our interview with Mike. I'll see you next time. Tune in. Bye.